My name is Miss Althea. I'm so glad that you're all here. You've made this day a special day just by being near. So pick your spot, get cozy, because it's almost story time. Cecil and I are about to start, because that's the end of our rhyme. Welcome to story time, everyone. My name is Miss Althea. This is my story time friend, Cecil. And today we are going to be reading Good Night Veggies by Diana Murray and Zachariah O'Hara. Now, before we get started, Miss Althea does need to acknowledge that watermelons are not vegetables, and that is why Cecil is extra cabbagey today for us. It's really hard to find a potato or a rhubarb dress, so we'll just have to settle with a fruit for Miss Althea and an extra vegetable leaf Cecil as we read Good Night Veggies by Diana Murray and Zachariah O'Hara. Sunset in the Garden. Robins in their nest. Tossing, turning vegetables. Need to get some rest. Turnips tucked in tightly. Potatoes closing eyes. Tuckered out tomatoes humming lullabies. Can we hum a lullaby together? Let's hum Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Are we ready? Cecil, are you ready? Here we go. Cuddly cauliflowers, droopy peas in their pods, or droopy pods of peas, rhubarbs reading stories to worn out broccolis, baby carrots snuggling, baby lettuce stew, baby Eggplants dreaming of places far and new. Cucumbers are calm, lined up nice and neat. Golden yams are still and beets are simply beet. Cabbages are nodding their leafy, sleepy heads. Radishes are dozing in cozy garden beds. Celery is snoring as sunset disappears, can we snore like celery? Let's try. Oh, almost put ourselves to sleep. 
and Cranky Corn rolls over, covers up its ear. Every veggie's snoozing beneath the moon so bright. For nothing's more exhausted than growing day and night. Thank you for joining Cecily and me for story time, everyone. We hope you have a wonderful day, a lovely night, and we look forward to seeing you back soon at the library.